and welcome back to Mighty's Flight Deck. As you can see, it's finally done. The window frame is installed. But I've made some changes during the build that I want to show you. First of all, I rebuilt the upper and the lower part of the front window and made every piece 11 cm longer. And I've done this to have enough room between the edge of the glass shield and the window post for the future cockpit handle here. When I test fitted all the window parts for the first time, I realized that the side windows ran too far out of my shell. So I reduced the angle between the front and the side windows, which resulted in this gap here. But I think this will be invisible later. So that's about the changes, and now let's see how I installed it. As I said before, I didn't connect the frames at the end. But if you build your angles right and want to connect the parts, you could do it like me with drive-in nuts. Then I had to adapt the outer line of the glare shield to the line of the front window. I first tried this carefully with the belt sander, but switched to a more drastic method later. To support the front frame, I cut pieces of different length with a 15 degree angle on the lower side. After test fitting this construction, I removed the pieces and glued and screwed them in place. The frame was then screwed to the support blocks. Then I started the work on the support for the side frames. I identified the position of the middle support by searching a point where the wall and the frame were in the same plane when the frame was holed in its final position. These supports from some pieces of scrap wood were built to hold the frame parts on their final height. This end support prevents the frame from twisting. Now I could move the sidewall to an easier reachable place. Align the front support with the frame, I eyeballed the frame direction and cut an angle to the piece.
You may ask yourself why I choose the outer side to screw the support pieces to the frame and didn't make a sturdy construction underneath it, which I could have done because of this flat surface here. The reason is that I don't want to have any construction in the way of the upcoming so-called quarter seal lining, which will be placed here under the frame. So that's it for this episode. I've updated the plans for the window frames on my website, where you can also find a set of detailed pictures of the support construction. And if you like what I've done, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.